This is a tutorial. Now I speak English. Alias Academy. Alias Academy. Academy. Pronounce Academy. 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 Niin mä sanoin. Ac- Academy. Welcome to Alias Academy. As a first tutorial for this series, I will show you how I created these um, wet plate collide on images in post production. My name is Antti and I've been drawn to these wet plate images for a long time and I totally value all the effort that goes when people are creating these for real and I also understand that this is something that um, people that are doing for real um, in a way manually thinks that this is almost like a sacrilegious thing to kind of a touch but this is my kind of art. Um, I like to impose production and I, I definitely love trying to experiment and doing things differently. And I don't really feel bad that I've done these. Um, and if you are purist and want to do this um, manually and how they should be done, do it. And I really hope that someday I will be able to do these too. But this is a tutorial to kind of show my style of retouching and um, how I created these images. So let's check it out. So here's a, a series of six images that uh, has the same kind of a wet plate kind of a feel to it. And uh, I'll go a couple of these images through and show how these were done. So I will open up. Here's a picture of my good friend Rahim. Um, he's a, for me, he's a really important guy because he's the one that got me into working with BBC, for example. And he's a, he's a really cool guy, and I think you should check in out his work too. I will post a link here. Um, and this was a shot that we did after we met, and I was just playing with the lights. And um, afterwards, I figured out, and I will try doing this kind of wet, wet plate picture um, or retouching with this picture, because uh, I think that. Um, the, there's so much depth in this image, um, just as simple as this portrait is. Um, so I would go into Photoshop and start. So here's the end result of the image, but the, where I started was this. So it's a basic portrait, nothing done for the image. Um, it's straight out of the camera. Um, all the flaws and all the um, issues, nothing retouched. Um, I did quite a bit of research um, on the wet plate images, uh, what makes them look the way they look. And um, first, first of the things I noticed that there's a, they are quite sharp. So as a first thing, I kind of a sharpened the image. Um, quite a bit just to get the texture um, out. So that's just a high pass sharpening done for the image. Um, I'm not going to go through sharpening techniques in this video. Maybe I will do a post about different sharpening techniques later on, but it's just a high pass layer that makes just a certain things pop up. The second thing I noticed from these images was that um, because the, when they shot should the actual wet plate images, there's um, um, the exposure time is longer, so there might be a bit of a motion blur in the images. So what I did is I, what I created another layer with just a motion blur um, to kind of simulate this kind of a longer exposure feeling, and then I masked out the uh, the center part of the image just to leave this blurring kind of thing work on the edges. Um, 
Then we come for the kind of a, the most important thing that I found um, doing these wet plate images. It's basically this one, one layer. And I will go through these, what these layers does. As I said, this, this is the most important kind of a make this kind of a similar feel to images. Um, I use a channel mixer and I push these values, I um, select a monochrome and I push these values. I think I started usually as a um, reds goes to minus 100, greens goes to zero and I push the blues up to plus 200%. So what this does is to make this picture look like, um, some parts look like they're inverse or negative, but um, then I just find the balance between where I want the skin tones to be. I think I'm happy around with this image around 80. Um, I think I'll push a bit of the greens too, but this, I think this has to be quite of a high. So this layer usually gives this feeling of, for me, the similar thing. The, the eyes pop up for some reason, really cool, and the skin tones change from light to darker, and it pushes all the freckles and kind of a in, uh, imperfect things to look like they are similar to wet plate images. These are, in a way, in my point of view, similar characteristics for the wet plate images. Then I start kind of a tweaking the image. Um, I might add a bit of a curve. Okay, let's make it a bit of a darker. Uh, so that's just a curve adjustments layer, making a small S curve, um, but then also washing these uh, edges so I don't have that much white and that much black in the pictures. I might do another layer just to wash. Again, this is levels adjustment layer. I'm washing, in a way, the whites out of the picture, so they, the whites are not white, they are more of a gray, gray and um, just trying to tweak these um, to m make the overall picture look like, in a way, in a range that I want. Um, I think depending on the liquids they are using for the wet plates, they usually look like more um, warmer tones. So this is just a photo filter I um, added here in a low kind of a density, uh, just to make it picture looking warm, more warmer. But then comes the imp imp imperfections in these images. So I start laying out a bit of textures to make them look like, like they are made on a wet plate. So here's just a couple of layers, um, just adds, this is just a leaked paper texture um, or rust or whatever metal thing that just gives these imperfections in the edges. Because when people are doing the wet plates, they touch the edges and it, um, and there, there could be a, some dust on a, on a plate and, and when the liquid flows on the plate, that gives the characteristics of originality. So I will try to emulate those imperfections in the, in the glass or metal plates. And so this is just a, um, some paper texture that kind of a gives um, this kind of feeling. I use the same layer as an inverse uh, as a negative, it's just to give a bit of a different kind of a highlights on, on the top of the, and, and so you can kind of experiment these different textures, because these will make always the picture look more original. Um, there's a metal kind of a leaking rust texture that kind of a has this kind of a thing going on between the screen or from white so that looked really cool and adding more it doesn't matter what, what kind of textures you are using but use they use them kind of carefully just not overdo it 
just adding to the corners maybe and, and stuff like that. This layer adds a bit of a noise, um, so you can see. So it just creates a bit of a noise, um, feel like a film noise um, to the image. So it's a neutral gray layer added with noise and then blurred. Um, nothing too hard in that one. Then one more layer, just this gives small stuff to these corners and maybe here. Um, and then a last metal layer, it's in color mode. And, and it just gives a bit more, kind of more tones, I would say, in this image, because uh, it's, so this would be too much, but um, maybe around 25%, 20 opacity just give certain kind of characteristics of this image. So basically that's how, I, how I've done this. So from that to here, and you can definitely see that this channel mixer layer is the most important thing to make these images look like this. Um, here's another image and doing kind of the same kind of a stuff for this image um, you'll see that the same stuff goes here um, so the basic main main image starts with this I think I did some Lightroom adjustments for this one then there's this blur layer just get the edges blurred like showing there's a bit of a movement and then this channel mixer layer um, basically kind of the same values I can even push this further to make it even more weird um, and then the same kind of a, a washing the blacks washing the kind of the whites out of the picture so it doesn't it's, it's not that contrast anymore making a bit of a tones warmer tones and then just started to apply these textures um, both ways as a negative and a positive and then selecting kind of a, laying them overlay in a different kind of a, uh, positions. The same kind of a metal leaking texture just makes more interesting f kind of a flowing marks to the image. Then the noise layer, a bit of more um, here I wanted to have this part of the black, but I think it might work even without this layer. And then a bit of more kind of a um, rust textures just to show that the liquid has been moving along these, along this plate. But, and this, from this you'll see also that this layer is the most important thing to make these. Um, but that's about it. Um, the most important part of these kind of style images is to just go on and try different textures and try to experiment and, and um, you, I mean, you should experiment on your images. And you don't ne never know what you can find creating these kind of images. And, don't feel bad if someone says that you are touching something that shouldn't be touched. I mean, this is my art. Um, I'm okay of doing old looking pictures in post-production, not in real life. I will definitely push myself to make these images for real someday. But I um, hope you like this one and, and maybe you can send me your versions to my Facebook page or um, to my email or whatever, I can review them later or make a post what, what, what kind of images you created out of these. Um, so, hope you like this first, first tutorial. Um, uh, it's definitely interesting to speak in English uh, and I really hope you understand everything that I said. And uh, I'm looking forward to creating these more on the future. So, Auntie out this time and I'm
starting to review what kind of a stuff that I recorded. Hopefully this will be working even slightly okay. Cheers, bye.